Welcome to Golden Truth Tarot. Before I get started with today's video, I want to remind you that on my website at www.goldentruthtarot.com, you can find the highest quality crystals and natural gemstone jewelries. Everything is handmade by me. You can find different bracelets, you can find rings, you can find necklaces, you can also find earrings as well. And you can also find different sets made of bracelets and earrings. They come in this beautiful gold box with a little black bow on top and they make the perfect gift. If you're interested, shipping is worldwide. Just go on my website. You can find the link under this video or you can find it on my page as well. Some products are also listed on my Etsy shop, so you can check out my Etsy shop and the link is again on my page. Thank you so much and now let's get started with today's video. Hi Leos, welcome to your September reading. Now let's get started with the first week of September. During this week, for some of you Leos who are single or for the Leos who have been in a long-term relationship for a while, you might be married or living with someone, I see that the chemistry between the two of you, how much you are attracted to one another, things have changed. And this week is going to bring someone in your life, someone who you're going to immediately feel attracted to, you're going to feel drawn to this person. And this is a relationship that is not, you know, it's not going to work for different reasons. It can be the fact that this person has a reputation of someone who is never in a solid relationship or someone who doesn't want to commit. It can be because this person is already married or they have uh, or they are already living with someone and have children with someone. There's something about this person that you know you either don't like or you know it's not going to work in the long run. You don't have many things in common, but you're just attracted to them. And this the way this week is going to bring things, so, so it's going to be like almost a hidden adventure, something that just boosts your adrenaline and you like the fact that everything, everything is secretive and everything is, is hidden and uh, you're okay with all of that just for the rush that it gives you, just for the adrenaline, just for that passion, that, that enthusiasm that, that, you, um, that you experience where you're with this person. I also see for some of you, Leos, if you're planning to work on a project or start a business or, uh, or even collaborate with someone who has their ascendant or sun sign in Gemini, during this first week, I see that you have to be careful with them because they're only thinking about themselves. They don't have your best interests in heart, and this collaboration might not, be, might not be beneficial for you in the long run, especially if you're planning to sign a contract with them. In the first week of September, we have a new moon happening September 3rd in Virgo, and that Virgo energy, it's all about work it's all about your daily activity it's all about your health your routine so use that energy of the first week and that new moon to really just pay attention look at the reputation of this person have they worked in the past with someone else someone who um were they successful did they scam someone in the past what kind of person are you dealing with? Try to look at the facts as not so much relied on their words because Gemini's can be very, very sharp and uh, they, they can, they're also the salespeople of the, of the Zodiacs who are very capable of selling you a big dream and actually not accomplishing what, what they set out to do. In the second week, especially with the high priestess energy, it's all about just being passive, use your intuition, look around, collect as much information as possible. If you're having doubts, if all of this, whatever's going on in your, in your life, it's 
it, it, it's causing you a lot of turmoil, this is a good time to also do a tarot card reading. If you own uh, a deck of cards, I will suggest that you know how to read the cards for yourself. This is a time for you to do a reading or um, if you if you've never done a reading before, this is a time to book with a professional. If you're interested to book a private reading with me, you can find me on my website at www.goldentruthtarot.com. Remember, that's the only way to book a reading with me. I never send private texts. I never uh, reach out to people offering them readings. Um, if you see anything like that, just know it's not my page. It's, 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 a, it's a fake account. So be very careful. You can only find me on my website and you can see the link uh, below this video also in the description box. But this is a time to do so because I see in the third week that you are going to have to spend some money. You're going to come up with some money and this is either going to be because this person is asking you for money in terms of I need a favor or something happened. I need you to help me. Uh, I really need um, your support or they're asking you to invest. Hey, this project is happening, but in order for me to do this, I'm going to need you to give me this much money, something like that. And for some, for some Leo, so this is a specific message that I'm feeling for you guys. Be very careful with the personal information that you share, private pictures, anything of that sort, because it can turn into a situation where this person might blackmail you and ask you for money in order to uh, for them not to share your personal information with others. So be very, very careful uh, about how you are handling this particular situation, especially if you if you have a lot at stake, if you're married and if you uh, if you have children or if you are in a, in a situation where you can lose a lot from from all of this. Uh, still, I do see some money that you will have to spend on that third week. It's also during this week, we also have a new, um, we also have a full moon eclipse happening September 18th in the sign of Pisces. So don't allow this person to manipulate you, to play on your emotional side, to play on that fire, on that passion, to play on the moment. Um, and because uh, because during the eclipse, you can't see things clearly. You you're overly emotional. You do then this applies to uh, males or females, it doesn't matter, For it applies to everyone, you're going to feel very emotional during that time, very sensitive, so try to not, if you can, avoid the avoid giving money to someone before, uh, on, the, on the third week, wait, wait till you really know what's going on and you have more clarity, because I see that you will regret this, this decision, you will regret it in the last week, uh, Leos, uh, because you're going to feel now that you're entrenched with this person to the point where you can leave. You can get out of this situation. There's so much uh, going on at the same time with them. And you're now you're starting to feel connected to them emotionally. And then the financial part, and there's so many different pieces to this puzzle that you're thinking, did I even um, make the right decision to involve myself in, involve myself in this situation? Um, was this a good thing to do? How can I get out of this? That's why I said it's so important to um, get a consultation, a private consultation in order for you to know how to navigate this. Because tarot cards, uh, tarot cards and astrology are a wonderful tool that we can use to help us guide us at times where we're conflicted, when we don't know uh, what would be the right path for us. Yeah, this is a this is a good time to do so because you you want to leave. I'm feeling that at the end of September you want to just leave everything behind and and, and just move on from this whole situation. You had your fun, it lasted for, for a little bit and that's it. 
But now, now there are so many different things that you can't leave. It's not as simple anymore. You can't just walk away. You can't just, you can't just leave. And the, um, the stone that will help you, the crystal that will help you during the month of September, and you can use it anytime because it's, just, it's associated with uh, Leo's, the, with that Leo energy is the amber. And the message for you guys is your energy and your vitality um, work as, as almost a generator for any person who's around you. So people are naturally drawn to you, Leos, because Leos, Leo Risings, because you radiate the solar energy and the sun is what what we need to, uh, what the planet needs to flourish. So every person uh, is drawn to a Leo or a Leo Rising for because you you give others life, you give others energy. Uh, and a lot of them, a lot of people are also drawn to your resources as well. It's like they, they're lacking, they're lacking their own, their, the, uh, their own energy, their lack and their own resources. So they come to you and you have this tendency, Leos, to draw people who have a parasitic nature meaning they just want to gain, 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 take, take from you, and then leave you drained, leave you without your power sword, or take so much from you that it leaves you without energy. And what, what Amber does when you carry it in your body, when you wear um, Amber jewelry, what it does is that it recharges you. Uh, the qualities of amber have been known since since um, 600 uh, years before uh, BC uh, by the by the ancient Greeks. They were known for the, and they spoke about the power of amber and wearing amber because it just it, it uses it transforms the negatives the negative energy in someone's body to positive energy and it's used and it's recommended for people who also are going through healing if they have uh, a medical condition that they're in in the in their recovery process if they wear amber speeds things up so wear it if you're feeling drained wear it if you are feeling like you have a lot of people who are taking your energy from you but be mindful be careful don't get too too distracted by compliments don't get too distracted by uh positive world uh, words or words of affirmations that others are telling you while they're taking from you pay attention use your intuition and try to manage the situation in the best way possible okay leos this is everything that i see for you guys if you enjoyed this reading please give me a like and a comment and follow my page so you don't miss out on future videos and when i offer um, readings or discounts or anything like that don't miss out. Follow my page. Thank you. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.